Shalom everybody, it's good to see you. It's time for Jammies and Jeans Shabbat with Maureen and Cantor Schultz. So, get ready and enjoy. We miss you. This is just a band-aid until we see each other again. We're going to start with a song without words to get us in the feeling of Shabbat with Bitty Bitty Bum. We're going to do Hine Mato two different ways, and I know you know it. I hope you're singing along at home.
better time when you're stuck at house but to make some delicious soup. Soup takes a long time. We have lots of variations. So um, I think we'll start with the water. All right. Put the water in.
time for something else now. Yes. Everybody get out your bim bom hands. Shabbat Shalom. So Maya Fehayom, Shabbat Shalom. Super easy.
special prayer that relates to our story, something that you know as we start winding down for some Shabbat Shalom. about the Shema was not just hearing, but it's focusing and paying attention. So, Annie's grandmother had just moved into a new home. Annie was glad all the boxes were unpacked. Now her grandmother would have time to bake her favorite chocolate chip cookies. Can we bake now, Annie asked expectantly. No, not just yet, her bubby smiled. There is still one more box to open. Annie's grandmother carefully opened a small package that Annie recognized right away. That's a mezuzah. We have one on the doorway of our home, Annie exclaimed. My mom told me that inside is a special paper and on it are very important words. The words of the Shema. So you know that. Try this with me in English first. Listen, Israel, the eternal our God, the eternal is one. Speak these words when you go out and when you come in, when you lie down and when you get up. Annie watched as her grandmother said a blessing and put up the mezuzah on her doorway. Grandma, why doesn't the mezuzah stand up straight or lie down flat? Annie asked. Why does the mezuzah look like it's leaning to one side? It's the same way at my home. Her grandmother smiled. Well, let me tell you a story. Once, there was a town where many people had mezuzot, but no one knew how to put them up. Perhaps there are instructions inside the mezuzah, the town people thought. They looked at the special paper inside the mezuzah. It contained words from the Torah, but no instruction on how to put the mezuzah on the doorpost. <gasps> Half the people said, we should put the mezuzah standing up since the words tell us to say the Shema when we get up in the morning. <gasps> Half the people insisted that the mezuzah should be lying down. The words tell us to say the Shema when we lie down at night. Neither side wanted to listen to the other. 
They just argued and kept shouting and shouting. One side screamed, standing up. The other side shrieked, lying down. Ah. Standing up. Lying down. Standing up. Lying down. There's good acoustics in here, everybody. The two sides yelled and yelled. They argued all through the day. They argued all through the night. Oh. Standing up! Lying down! What were the people to do? They decided to ask the rabbi of the town. The rabbi turned his head to one side and listened. The rabbi turned his head to the other side and listened. He turned to look at the buildings in the town. None of them had a mezuzah on the doorway. Uh-oh. What are we to do, the townspeople asked the rabbi. Shall we put the mezuzah standing up or lying down? What do you think the rabbi is going to do? To the people who believe that the mezuzah should be standing up, the rabbi said, you are right. I didn't expect that. To the people who believe that the mezuzah should be lying down, the rabbi said, you are right. I really didn't expect that. The townspeople were puzzled. Rabbi, how can we all be right? We can't have the mezuzah standing up and lying down at the same time. The rabbi smiled, you are right again. Very funny, rabbi, both sides agreed. But the rabbi wasn't laughing. You haven't read the instructions very carefully. The very first word on the mezuzah's special paper is listen, shema, listen to each other. You must put the mezuzah on the doorway so that it's standing up a little and lying down a little. The people who wanted the mezuzah standing up listened to the people who wanted it lying down and said, well, if we slant the mezuzah, it will almost be standing up. The people who wanted the mezuzah lying down listened to the people who wanted it standing up and said, well, if we slant the mezuzah, it will almost be lying down. Both sides really liked the rabbi's idea. The people stopped shouting. The people stopped arguing. They stopped yelling and they listened. They put the mezuzahs, oh, sorry, they put up the mezuzahs. The people lived in many different kinds of homes, but they were one people. It is just like the Shema tells us, God is one. And that is how Annie's grandmother said it has been ever since. When we place the mezuzah on our doorway, it is not standing up and it is not lying down. It is leaning into our home just the way it should be. When we enter our home and we see the leaning mezuzah, we remember, she said softly, we stop shouting, we stop arguing, we stop yelling at each other. We listen, we are one. So we're going to wrap things up, Cantor and I, with a song that we have done before called the Shema Lullaby. It's in many ways, something that when you are getting ready to lie down, you'd want to say. And remember, what we have done is focusing Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohim Adonai Echad. So Cantor and I are going to do this song, and we're getting ready to close our Kabbalah Shabbat or jammies and jeans in a quiet way. That's not right. Sounds good to me. That's right. <laughs>
and you will recognize the tune and I hope you'll sing it with me. <clears throat> Remember there's no yawning. Lila, Lila, Shabbat Shalom, everyone.